know where the hell you guys were tonight. We called every hospital and there was no record of a Ricky Stanicki. You know, all we did was tell one lie. Hundreds and hundreds of times over many, many years. If the truth does come out, my marriage is over. What if we hire an actor to play Stanicki? Rock hard rod. X-rated rock and roll impersonator. I do a whole act. Wall to wall, top to bottom, dance. Thanks for coming out tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So to be here. This is a really bad idea. Oh, Jesus. I've been cold turkey in the booze. Ricky Stanicki's in the program, remember? Oh, Rod. It's not what you think it is. It's just I'm a hyper every time. No, my mom. Okay, that was a clip of the new comedy, Ricky Stanicki, which tells the story of three best friends who for 25 years invent an imaginary character as someone to blame for all the bad things they do. But then their significant others finally begin to suspect something's up and they demand to meet the one another Ricky. They decide to then hire a washed up actor to step into the role to continue to fool their loved ones. And let's just say not everything goes as planned. So joining me now to talk about the film is one of the stars from the film themselves. Are you there? Hi, how are you? I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. This is great. So Lex Scott Davis is joining me right now. Thank you so much. You look stunning. Um, I saw you in the clip from the trailer. You did a phenomenal job. This reminds me of The Hangover, and I'm wondering if it was like that behind the scenes too. W what was it like? Yes. yes, it was. It was such a good time on set with all the guys. I mean, of course, they're they're coming from knowing comedy like the back of their hand. Um, and with, with actors like Andrew Santino and Jermaine Fowler, they are stand-up comedians. So it was just always jokes on set, a lot of improv, great energy all the time. We had a blast. Okay, tell me a little bit about your character and how opposite is your character from you in real life? Well, my character is the girlfriend of Zac Efron's character, um, and she is a journalist and an aspiring anchor. So that is not like me at all. Um, <laughs> I had to study and watch a lot of news just to try to get the cadence down um, because we do see her tap into that side a little bit during the film. Um, but for the most part, she you know she plays everything straight. She's kind of um, you know the driving force for everything Dean does, which is Zac's character. Um, he's really, really um, concerned about her finding out the truth about Ricky Stanicki and is, is trying to save this life for as long as he can so that she doesn't leave him ultimately. <laughs> I love this, and I love that you had to watch a lot of news. I'm hoping that was a lot of KCAL news, <laughs> and we totally know what you mean when it comes to the way we say things. Yes. Um, okay, so you, I mean, you mentioned Zac Efron, uh, the girlfriend, right? What was it like working with him? And also John Cena, he was hilarious in that trailer. He's, both of the guys are fantastic. And since, you know, the first day I met Zach, he just welcomed me with open arms. We hit it off immediately. He was very easy to work with, very encouraging, um, because there was some things that I was nervous about. I, I don't typically do comedy. And so he was always there to like, give me a pat on the back if, if it was going well, if he loved to take. And then John is just, he's such a gentleman. I, I know that most people, you know, are used to him as a wrestler, but he's just this gentle giant. I think he's an absolute delight to work with. And when people see him as this character, I feel like they're just going to, he was already a talented actor, but I feel like for an actor to play an actor and do it really, really <laughs> well speaks to his level of skill and I'm just blown away by his performance. He's incredible. I mean, when you say that for an actor to play an actor, I feel like it gives it a little more context to also seeing him in all those different wigs. That's just funny in and of itself. Um, <laughs> absolutely. I want to talk about this, though. So you were just cast in the suit spinoff. That's yes, exciting. I'm so excited about tell, it. You tell me about this. This is cool. Yes. Um, well, we're we're bringing suits back, but we're bringing it back in LA. Uh, so it's a brand new cast, a brand new story, but it has the same creators, the same producers, even the same casting director and uh, and costume designer are the same from the original suit. So I'm happy that they, you know, will be holding us, you know, holding our hands along the way and making sure we live up to the the big shoes that is the original suits. It's an iconic show. There's a, an extreme fan base. I'm sure everyone knows and everyone's watching this. Is at least heard of suits. Oh, absolutely. And so I, I am aware that I have some pretty big shoes to fill, um, but it's I, I love being able to walk into something that gives an opportunity for new newer talent and newer actors like myself to step into the roles and, and you know, hopefully 
hopefully shut it down. I'm hoping that <laughs> I'm believable as an attorney and that my character will play head of entertainment. Oh, I love that you went from comedy in this Ricky Sinicki to being someone a little more serious as an attorney. And I mean, it doesn't matter if you have big shoes to fill. You're a rock star. You're going to be the person filling those shoes. It's going to be so great. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. We're going to put all this up at our website, kcalnews.com slash the morning wrap. And Ricky Sinicki, by the way, streaming on Prime Video March 7th. All right. In today's